Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Chris with Arch-USA.com, and this is your catalyst for conversation around the sneaker industry, and I hope you guys are going to the site and subscribing. But um, today's topic, obviously, I'm going to play around with marketing, and you guys see me on the inside of my dashboard for the site, and I'm working on a post. Now, the post isn't specifically about um, Incas, um, the shoe brand. It's about marketing and social media. So what I'm doing is I'm going to add some pictures here and just drop these pictures in. And then we're going to get started on this. And I know you guys are like, really, dude, you're going to work while you do this. Yes, I am. And we're going to get directly to it. So the name of the post, and I'm just going to upload these pictures, is social media solely is not a solution. Now, that's alliteration for you guys that are in English and business writing. That SSS sounds good on the ear. The social media solely is not an, a solution is a really important statement. And what I'm trying to establish here is let's add one more piece of media. And that's going to be from, you know what, upload the desktop. So let me go desktop and put the screenshot in here. Yesterday I'm browsing and I see um, I see a post on Incas. And as a matter of fact, I only want to put this one in here. And I'm going to drop that into the post so you can see it just so you can so we can begin our conversation because I'm almost a minute and a half into this and I haven't gotten to it. Um, here's a post that was on Facebook. So here's a social media post from Incas. Take 20 percent off your pair. And uh, if you guys are looking over here and I'm talking and using my hand as if I'm in a classroom for real. I'm just treating this like a classroom. And uh, you got these really cool comments uh, from someone where she says, got mine plus love the colors. And then you have another person that says, I thought this was a fake site. And then Elizabeth comes back and says, not sure, but have ordered from Incas. Incas is running an ad and they are not engaging with the person who's engaging with the post. And then you see the smiley face down here that someone's laughing at it. Probably some younger person that's looking at it like, yo, those are knockoffs and they have no idea what Incas is. Well, let's do a little bit of backstory and go back and discover where Incas got started. Incas started as a Kickstarter campaign where they were bringing these South American prints to footwear. They successfully funded three different Kickstarters. Now from 2014 to 2016, in 2016, 2017, they began to lose money. Now, I always talk about Kickstarter as being a great source for you guys that are trying to launch your businesses and you're trying to launch a shoe company. It's a great source, but if you rely solely on Kickstarter over and over again, those people are going to eventually get to a point where they're like, you know what? We're cool. We supported you three times already. Do it and make something and bring us to your stuff on your own. They're not going to continuously give you this money out of Kickstarter. But Kickstarter is also a false positive because if you don't do Kickstarter correctly, it can break your company. Now, you're going to have to ask me a question about that in the comments or email me or whatever for me to explain that. But here's where we go into this discussion. Incas had to get invested into by Marcus Lemonis of The Prophet. Now, this article was written on uh, two paragraphs and it explains what happened. And this is a recent article, 2021, where someone went back and revisited the discussion around The Prophet where he bought 40% equity into Incas for $600,000. Now, why would a company that was capable of funding on Kickstarter uh, 479 backers, 848 backers, 1,068 backers, and then let's click through and look at how much money they generated on that, and it's $77,000. So if we just go backwards, they probably raised over $200,000 as a startup sneaker company. Well, in the video and the discussions on the profit, it explained that they overextended themselves. But here's the issue. When you run a Kickstarter, you put yourself in a position of doing uh, these your rewards, right? I ran a successful Kickstarter. Uh, you did these rewards. Well, these rewards, if you look at them, they are not broken up by size. That means when the people who pledged got their sizes, 
more than likely you may have had a hundred size tens and maybe two size thirteens but when you produce shoes with a shoe manufacturer they are not going to produce to your specific number they're going to make a consistent run of shoes in every size so you may end up with a hundred size tens a hundred size thirteens but if these people only did maybe 15 size 13s you're now stuck with 85 size 13s do you understand what i'm saying i know you can't hear me because this is a video and we're going to keep going because i got a lot of tabs open so now we go back to the post that i'm working on which is in regard to this social media and it raised a flag for me because incas never came back and responded to any of these people more important, these little laughing faces irritate the hell out of me. And it reminds me consistently that brands who are not building their platform and telling stories. So let's go to the Inca's website and here's their blog. And we do have them starting to tell stories here. But if you look, August 19, 2020, December 14, 2020, March 18, 2021, that's not enough when you're building your brand the story that you tell your consumer is going to be a story of the lifestyle what you influence as a part of that brand stories have to happen probably on a two to three times a week basis that means you need to be creating some type of content two to three times a week if you're not doing a blog post then it should be a youtube post and this is important we go to Inca's YouTube they have 214 subscribers I do understand how difficult it is to add subscribers on YouTube but 214 for a company that funded on Kickstarter three different times with over 50 grand each time that's problematic that means that the people who are working inside of the brand are not building up the marketing channels correctly they're not utilizing everything that they have so when I say social media solely is not a solution your job is to utilize social media you utilize your website and then we go to the Instagram they have 88,000 followers if you remember I always talk about the 10% rule 10% of 10% 10% that means 88,000 10% of 88,000 is 8,000 10% of 8,000 is 800 10% of 800 is 80 88,000 people the engagement they got about 1,947 1, engagements on this post. That's a lot more than usual. More than likely, it was sponsored. And if not, pictures on Instagram do not convert into, and that looks like one that's kind of standard, but it's a basic picture. Pictures on Instagram do not convert people into buyers. There's a story that has to be told consistently, okay? And if you are sitting down and you're not utilizing every aspect of the site, their Facebook, they have 267. So if we go over here and we look at the engagement, we see three. We see 33. 262,000. It's like I said, 10% of 10% of 10%. But more important, if you simply rely on social media and you're not engaging backwards with that customer, it only makes sense that the company folded over and is now a part of Marcus Lemonis's footwear department and he's the owner of it basically completely the guys that started it there's only one person left with the company but that's something to think about it's a marketing discussion appreciate you new subscribers and I'll see you on the next one Man, that was a lot peace